Good morning on this absolutely glorious Sunday morning and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about post-traumatic stress disorder. So as some of you will know, I have PTSD and I've had it since 2012. Now, the roller coaster ride that is PTSD of the ups and downs, the highs, the lows, the depression, the anxiety, and everything that comes with that can be exceptionally challenging to live with. So what I've done is I've tried to, despite all the therapies and all the medication I've tried, I've resorted to something else, which is my photography. So one of my key symptoms of PTSD is nightmares and recurring dreams, and they're incredibly vivid. They tend to wake me up at the same time every day, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, like an alarm, just go. And as soon as I have those dreams, immediately my body's filled with adrenaline. And with that comes a massive amount of alertness, fear, panic. Originally, I didn't know what to do with that. I would lay in bed and try and go back to sleep or worry and just keep worrying and it would escalate fast. But now what I do is I go outside and take pictures of the sunrise. So in this very quick video, I'm gonna show you some of the photos that I have done over the last few days, last week even, and some of this is PTSD induced. I'll also talk about why I feel that putting positive images in your head can only be a good thing. So hopefully you enjoy it and get something out of it. This isn't a cure for PTSD and I don't proclaim to have the cure for PTSD. If I did, I'm sure I wouldn't be making this video, but hopefully it helps. And it also shows that you're not alone if you do suffer from it. I think a fundamental part of dealing with PTSD is understanding yourself and what really makes you happy, what inspires you, and what can keep your mind focused on the things that are positive. As I said earlier, for me it's photography. I love to catch that rainbow or see the clouds or the sky. And I love feeling very humbled by the majesty of our planet. Although in panic and fear, perspective isn't there, it seems to get blinded by post-traumatic stress, anxiety. But when you breathe and take time and change the scenery, perspective will come back. It's not an easy journey. challenge and journey. It builds character. It helps make you stronger in the long run, although it might not seem like it in the short term. I love how the light catches the fields, the simplicity of warm against cold. Trees are a critical part of how I manage. I see trees stand alone. Yeah, they're part of a much bigger species. The fog laying over the land, and the sun running over the top of it. There's real power in getting up and putting positive images in your head rather than the fears or nightmares that might consume you. I honestly would challenge you to go out see what you can create. The world is our canvas. It's there to be enjoyed and there to be shared. Don't be a prisoner to your PTSD.